Uh, let's restart for YouTube. How you doing, YouTube? How you doing? Um, right, so here, here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to continue the song and we're going to use this riff as a bridge. Right? So if I go over here, I can just cut the cool thing about this since everything is kind of edited and organized. All I have to do is uh, go to my folders, select these two bits, copy, and boop, paste. Okay, and this is basically like a super gorness type bridge. That's that's kind of what I'm going for over here. Um, I need to do this and just put it over here and let's let's get some let's let's okay let's continue the song. Screw the sound effects. We'll do the sound effects later. It's fine. Don't think about it. Okay. Let's add like a little drum fill break type thing. I didn't mix the toms, did I? I didn't mix the toms. I did not. <laughs> you know how much I hate mixing toms that riff though. Yas! Yas, it didn't see. Oh yeah. Okay. Metal hybrid trailer with kazoo. It's the new hot stuff. <laughs> Is it better than chiptune? <laughs> You know, and again, like, I, I, I need to disclaim this. I liked the entry for the Spitfire competition. I, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I think I thought it was nuts and super creative. And people shouldn't hate on someone for entering a competition. Like, seriously, why? Um, so the drums over here. We're just gonna like add in a little fill so that I remember that I need to add in a proper drum fill over here once I kind of know what I'm doing. Okay, and um, for this, for this riff, I'm thinking still kind of half time. Is this it? Okay. So it's like da 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 da. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One, two, three, four. Is that is that what it is? Okay, so it's kind of it's kind of it's it's the problem with this riff is that it's all sixteenth notes and they're all doing kind of the same thing. So we need to give it like some sway, some groove, some some something. Let's try to do it like a corn half half time. Oh my god. Would that work? Pour some crude oil over it. Oh yes. No, nah, it's it's too it's like too it's too much. Can we do, actually, you know what? <laughs> Can we do the, whatchamacallit, the Matthews Bridge from, from Limbiscuit? Because, <laughs> like, like, Doom, what is Doom? What is the Doom sound, right? It's whatever Mick Gordon wants it to be, number one. Number two, um, it's, uh, it's a bit new metal-y. You, you, you gotta give it up to the new metal. Like, can we do this? And it's very crude right now, but I'm just trying to figure out the groove. I'm gotta have some limb biscuit. <laughs> I'm liking that. It's like groovy AF. It's definitely, it's definitely up there. Um, can I get like the hi hat from over here? Actually, I dislike copy pasting like drum elements, but the hi-hats, the hi-hats can just go away. Um, who listens to the hi-hats anyway? Who likes hi-hats? Except the trap guys. But the trap guys. Um, but we're not doing trap. So... Yeah. 
She liked you like top hats. How very British of you. You want China symbols? I want them too, but I want like I, I want I want to keep them for like the super heavy breakdown. Doom gets a free pass on things I usually wouldn't touch with a barge pole. It all seems to work in context of the game. Yes, and do you know why? Uh, destroy all threats because it's not just proper metal. It's not. It's industrial metal. Moreover, it's derived from a sound and a style that hasn't been popular or really available anywhere outside from a couple of fringe bands like uh, Three Teeth. Mm, and that is the 90s industrial metal sound, which like Nine Inch Nails, Ministry, um, KMFDM, things like that that really are not like super... Y you can't really find them anywhere. Even Code Orange aren't really doing that exact sound, right? And there's also... Uh, if you're into like the later period of Nine Inch Nails, I'm talking like the Fragile as well as the uh, With Teeth era. There's also another project I can recommend you, which is I Will Never Be The Same Again. It's on the fixed record label and it's awesome. Uh... Right, and because it's sort of industrial, like it has a ton, a ton of sound design work and a ton, a ton of little details that kind of fill out the sound. And it's not like just metal, right? Like Doom Eternal was more straightfor straightforward metal than Doom 2016. Um, and to, to some people's liking or, uh, or, 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 or not so much to others, but I quite enjoyed it. The rescore of the trailer back in February, if you want to check it out. Um, Super Nab, I think I did. I think I went to your SoundCloud and you you mentioned. I think you mentioned that you did the Doom sound as well. And I think I listened to it on your SoundCloud. I think it's there, and it was freaking awesome, bro. Like super, super awesome. And Code Orange is sick. I think there's more scope to fuck. Or <laughs> I said a bad word <laughs> with non-metal sounds in this context. Yeah, exactly. Like we need to get those non-metal stuff in this context. Okay, and since since we are writing in the spirit of Doom, I want to put like my own spin on it, right? Because like if we if we were just doing like a one to one, it would have it wouldn't really have been interesting to be honest. Um, not for you or for me, so I want to do something cool and something cool in that there's like this guitar glitch effect um, that is used a lot in metalcore and I'd very much like to use it here as well if that would be all right um, and you do it just li it's like a guitar chop that's all it is and that's what we're going to do um, and I'm gonna like I want to merge these two because I think I'll forget later if I don't do it. Hey, there you go, buddy. Okay, and these four need to, like, do this. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. That didn't come out the way. Oh, it's because I don't, I didn't, I didn't do the thing. Hold on. Although it might work just for the last quarter note, but let's hear it for like a, a longer duration. So it's like. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Blaze, have fun. Have an awesome Sunday. Have an awesome week. Um, thanks so much for, for, for joining in. Cheers. Um, okay, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna put it for like the, the last fourth note. You too, man. No, you too, man. So... Okay, I'm down for that. Okay, um, we kind of need to freeze these leads over here because I don't think we're gonna be using them. I think I'm just gonna like pop them out as one sound and that's going to be that, really. Um, 
let me let me just sort of render this out real quick and I want like the delay tail as well because we're gonna do some cool stuff with that I would imagine okay so riff a lead is soloed out what we're going to do is we're gonna export it as it is audio mix down directly over here um, let me just move this over stream doom uh, Doom stream main and over here I'm gonna put in and it's gonna be like uh, riff lead a or riff a lead main lead main lead main lead save right we are working in 440 because there's really no reason to kind of go higher right now I know I know purists will, will, will burn me at the stake I'm sorry audio guys uh, you did a rescore of the doom eternal trailer that was kind of doomish cyberpunkish actually got you a gig with the new trailer oh nice 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 supernab awesome awesome mm. I'm super happy for you that that worked out you're cool you are cool okay and this is just gonna like take 20 more seconds to kind of export out and then we're gonna bring it back in as an audio track we're gonna leave it there we're gonna turn off all the effects so that we can keep our our sort of buffer pretty low I'm at 64 right now with the buffer size on uh, like the AS the ACO buffer so we, sh we should still be able to record properly with no sort of uh, um, visible lag or delay or stuff like that and if we need to do like guitar recording we're gonna switch over to I've got like a separate project where all the guitar recording and bass recording and editing is done we're gonna use that okay so I'm gonna mute you I'm gonna turn off your effects I'm gonna turn off Anna too right and if if we ever I should name these tracks <laughs> hold on riff a lead uh, tone one tone 2 right and this should free up quite a bit of, of CPU and memory that we can then use although my CPU is sitting pretty at 11% right now but since Cubase crashed <laughs> I don't know I don't know uh, riff a lead um, no you're gonna output directly into the synths group and you're gonna be like riff a bounce bounce uh, thanks, man. Are you gonna get into some music? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to do some more orchestral stuff as well. We did like um, the first song that we did on stream was was an orchestral synthwave track uh, using the Discover, and I'm actually saving up to buy Nucleus uh, Light. I think it, it is what it is, um, the ninety nine dollar version. And um, I'd like to do some more sort of epic scoring type stuff as well. Yeah, too, for, for sure. I want to dip my toe into that as well. So stream main, riff A main, we are bringing it back. Let's level it, let's level it out properly. Ola Eglin did a video too, and, and I do know that uh, I, from what I've seen, Nucleus is perfect for me because it's all encompassing. It has the choir as well, um, and it has like all the main things that I would need for now as a sort of beginner in this realm. I've been doing orchestral stuff for quite a, a long time. Like my, 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 my old band, Between Colors, was, was started out as a sort of symphonic metal type band. And then kind of evolved into an industrial metalcore band. <laughs> Don't. I, I can't even. I can't, what are music genres? I have no idea. Like, I, 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 can't, I don't even care <laughs> what music genres are. <laughs> I just, like, write whatever the heck I want and mix things up. Anyway...
Yeah, it sounds really, really awesome out of the box. Right, so for this part, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, what can we do in this part? Hmm... <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I love almost all genres of music. I really don't care. Like, I listen... These days, I'm listening to as much electronic music as... I am metal. I'm even. I'm actually listening to a lot more electronic music than I am metal. But I'm really into <laughs> metal. No, but um, I'm really. I've lately. I've been really more into like in the past. I don't know five years or so. I've been going more and more into the metalcore and gent and like modern styles of metal. Really, and I really hate that that sort of. Uh, old school approach of whatever hasn't been made, uh, whatever has been made after after the eighties kind of crap. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crapping over on anybody's taste. Like, if you like old school metal, that's awesome, but just don't like crap on 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 me for liking modern stuff as well. Um, it's weird. Like my my listening habits have have changed considerably. Especially with this situation that we are in, where basically, yeah, like, I, I, I can't go to, a, like, a rehearsal space. I can't do anything. I'm just, like, isolating. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, so I want something to happen over here. I think, I think we're going to do... So we have this B part, this, this B riff over here. And I think that for this riff... Anything after 1790 is rubbish modern jive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, these darned 1800 kids and their stuff. No, I do like Pantera. Like, I like a lot of, 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 of bands. People like what they like, and rightly so. Exactly. I hate milk. Okay, cool. I tolerate milk. <laughs> I'll defend your right to drink it, though. Exactly, did you, uh, like like exactly destroy all threats. You have, <laughs> you have the right idea. Anyway, so for this part, I think that we're we don't actually need leads. We don't need anything fancy for this part. It's just a bridge. We're gonna need like a riser, and we're gonna need sound effects. So let's go back to the top and let's do some sound effects. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to need a lot of stuff. So, first of all, let's get, like, uh, this other stuff folder can just close. And I need to get, like, a folder for effects going. By the way, like, we're up to 84 tracks. A lot of it we're not using yet, but we're getting up there. Um, effects. And bear in mind that this started from... Um, I want to say it started from a blank template, but I already kind of did the routing by hand for the bass, the guitars, and the drums. But yeah, kind of. Um, and we also need like a grouping track, and we're not going to put anything on the group track for the effects. It's just going to be uh, a group track to have all the effects in there. We're not going to touch it. We're going to do individual processing on the effects themselves, because remember, when you're working with samples and sound effects and stuff like that, you don't want to... You don't want to neuter them, right? You don't want to change them too much. You kind of want them to stand out in, against like the 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 gelled sound of your uh, of your song. But in the background, right? At least at least for me, I find that's what works. Audio tracks, audio track. Let's uh, let's uh, get some guitar effects going. Let's do some five guitar effects now. Group effects. You're going into the group effects. Okay, and I want to set you to this color. Hey. Okay. Uh, so, boom one. Okay. Uh, no, this is going to be like impact 101. Okay, and for impact 01, we're, we, ac we actually want to have it over here. Let's import, let's go to my samples, but oh my god, there's like a lot of people here today. Thank you, by the way, for watching this. And if you're not watching with this live right now and you're watching on YouTube, thank you too as well, you lovely, lovely people, you. Did I move all my samples to the, uh, to the hard drive? I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Whew, it's fine, I have all my samples over here. Aww. 
Datsushi. You lovely, lovely human being, you. Miles Team is a self-professed reincarnation of Paganini, so he must get a modern day free pass. Uh, yeah, but also he is Miles Team, so I, I <laughs> can't really give him a pass. <laughs> no, it's fine. I like, I like Ingrid Miles Team. I like him in small doses. For me. <laughs> um, cinematic impact. Okay, and let's turn the volume down so it doesn't... He does what he wants, indeed. I like this. I like this. Okay, and always with your samples, if you zoom in far enough, you can see that actually it's starting a bit delayed and you want to bring it back over here. And what I do in order to kind of preserve this and not cut out the transient or anything like that is that I put like a marker at the uh, quarter note over here, like over here. And that way you can sort of drag it around as uh, uh, every, anywhere you want it. So it's going to be like, oh, this is going to be loud. Hold on, hold on. It's going to be fine. Okay, I changed the volume. It's fine. Don't think about it. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, and let's bring it back over here as well. It doesn't sound like much. I know this. I know this. We're gonna we're gonna layer it with a boom, like a subsonic boom or something like that. Um, do I have? Shakers. I use the snare drum from over here. But that's not what I want. I want like a bass drop. Bass drop. Do we have any sub drops? Bass. Bass and brass shots. 808s, brass. Nah, not brass hits. Ah, come on, man. Uh, just a sec. I'll be with you in just a sec. Drop. Sub drops. There you go, buddy. I'm down with this. I'm down with this. But I think we're going to need to pitch it down substantially so. And make sure, again, that it's sort of aligned. Yeah. You can see it starts pretty darn soon, but I like it to be just a tad more exactly on the on the beat and now we kind of need to pitch it and the way we do that is that we go over here to uh, the track we we're gonna open up like a tuner and I'm gonna look to see what note it is I like that if you have a sub at home you should have felt that I felt it in my headphones <laughs> these headphones are awesome by the way I love them um... Turn, let, uh, no, hold on. We're actually going to, we're not going to change the volume of the sub drop. We're going to do it individually for each sort of sample over here. Because sometimes you want samples to be quicker. You need to be, you need them to be louder. You need them, you need them to be quieter. You know what? It's not in tune with our song, but I think I like it like that because that way it'll stand out more. Let's try it out when the actual sort of uh, riff comes in. And here's a thing that modern metal bands do, right? They... Did I mess it up? Did I mess it up? Is this not... It is. Is this not... It is. I think I moved it off the beat. Why did I do that? No. No. Okay, I'm going to copy paste it over here. Okay, and now it should be fine. It is. Okay. Um when a drop when like and this is, happens like for for EDM music as well. So whenever you have like a super loud part coming in to make it hit harder, you add in a sub drop over here. But in order to make that actually audible we need to go to our sub vst over here and we need to side it chain it basically um 
Wait, did I not do sight chaining with the kick? I did not. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna leave that slot open for the for the side chain of the base. Uh oh oh it's oh I didn't do it here either. Okay, fine. So we're gonna put in a compressor, we're gonna set it to side chain mode, we're gonna take out the makeup. We're gonna make it like hit super quickly and not last a long time. Ratio is not gonna be too much and we're gonna feel it out. Uh, and we're gonna send this boom to our sidechain compressor over there for the base. So if I go down here, we can see the sidechains, you can see the compressor. And basically what it's doing is it's gonna activate the compressor whenever a signal is sent to it, right? In our case, we're sending the boom. Why are we doing that? Because we need to duck the volume of the, su of the lows of the bass guitar in order to make room in the low end for our sub drop. So if I were to do this, Okay, and this, this is much too long. So we need to, to make it considerably shorter. It needs to be the length up until the first snare, I would say. It needs to be quick, it needs to be snappy, it needs to like melt your, your face and that should be it. And we need to make it louder. Yeah, did you feel that? Did you feel the impact of the riff right now? And if we put it over here as well. Yeah, and if we weren't to use that sidechain, for example, let me show you what happens if you don't use it. So if I turn off that sidechain compressor, you'll notice that the sub is not that audible anymore. It's still there, but it's not hitting its hard. Yeah, and if I like uh, solo the sub, and again, like if you don't have like a sub drop or nice headphones, you probably won't hear this, but let's see. Oh, it's because I didn't solo the boom, hold on. Did you hear that bass coming back in? That's what you want happening, basically. I'm literally move the solos. Um, you did a Malstein solo in your track for Daniel James stream last night. Nice, nice. No, I mean, I kid, I kid about Malmsteen because he's such a, a, a character, right? But I mean, you gotta respect the man. He's fantastic as 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 a musician. Like, there's hats off. You saw him in London a few years ago. His uh, band was allowed 20% of the stage. Oof. Guitar, keys, drums, and bass. He used the rest of it to prance around kicking and shredding. It was awesome. Wouldn't have changed a thing. The uncontrollable ego is part of the attraction in this case. <laughs> yeah. And your brain tremble dot sushi. Good. That's what you want. Okay. Um... Okay. And for this to actually work, love the parody videos <laughs> on YouTube of him. I are... I would need to get them. Hey, Chiff Monkey, how you doing? You can finally watch again without Twitch giving quality options. Found a viewer that allows audio only. Ooh, ooh. But why couldn't you watch before Chiff Monkey? Like, I'm sorry, could you, could you film, fill me in again? Like, what happened? Why couldn't you? And thank you, by the way, for being here. And I hope you have an awesome Sunday. Um, so what happened? Like, could, why couldn't you watch... Because I think you mentioned you can watch uh, Scott's streams either. Also, how you digging? 1080p with no options from Twitch, which means that you couldn't, like, th did your internet not support 1080p streaming video? I am, like, streaming, like, 6K right now. 6K uh, bitrate, I think it is. I think it's called bitrate. Uh, 30 FPS, 1080p should be what I'm sending over. Um, but you should have quality options, like, you should, as far as I know. Anyway, um, so, 
So over here, okay, we need to make our own sort of boom sound, really. And you can watch 1080p on YouTube just fine. Can manage 720 on Twitch. Might be the servers, might be something weird there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry about that. I was kind of thinking about starting to double stream like on Twitch and YouTube, but I like my internet can now handle it. We've actually upgraded our internet like gigabit, uh, gigabyte internet, and it should be uh, much. We, we have like huge, huge download speeds and upload speeds right now and a lot of bandwidth. Um, so that should be fine, but I don't know if my PC can take it. So <laughs> that my PC is now over there, by the way, it's on my desk and I can look at it and kind of see and kind of curse it out if, if it's not, it's not huge. <laughs> Jealous. I'm sorry, Chiff. I'm sorry, Chiff. Well, since our country is pretty crappy, at least we have awesome internet. So there's that. Um, anyway, so. I want to do like a blah, um, synth, right? That's what I want to do. In order to do that, we're going to need to create like a sine wave and um, and feed it through distortion. We're going to output that and have it as a, and have it as a sample to kind of drag around. Um, and also, let me think. Let me think. What else? So a sine wave through distortion. Can we use Anna 2? I think we can use Anna 2, although we need to kind of pitch shift it much more than Anna 2 can actually support. Um, so we're going to use a pitch shifter for that. We're going to send this to the synths, to the lead synths track, right? Okay, let's put this uh, over here. And this is going to be like blah, synth. Super professional. Um, I'm gonna init and I'm gonna use as a waveform. I'm gonna go to legacy tables and I'm gonna go um, sine wave, right? So a sine wave should basically just sound like. Right? But we need like to use it as a sub, right? And you can't hear that, but that's fine. Can we do it? I think we're going to do it from over here, actually. So it's going to be like... Okay. Okay, okay. That's going to be fine. I'm going to re-trigger and I'm going to set you to HD mode. No, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. So it has one voice. It has no effects. And it's just gonna be like a boom. It's kind of low frequency, yes. So it's basically gonna be, um, it's gonna be like two bars, and it's gonna be like our own sub drop, our very own sub drop, our very own sub drop that we are going to pitch bend using. Uh, so this is gonna be more like an effect. So I'm gonna color it appropriately. Like a sound effect, like a sample, like something. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna get the kilohertz. What are you called? Ah, my brain, my brain, my brain. Pitch shifter, pitch. Oh my God, what did I do? No. I changed something. I changed. Oh my god, guys, I changed like the length of the of the Cubase um, thing over here and I don't <laughs> know how to shift it back. Anyway, that's fine. And we're going to go into here into automation. <laughs> don't think about it. It's fine. We're going to go over here to the... Uh, in ah, no. Wait a minute. Where's my inserts? Dude. Dude. Wait a minute. So volume, standard panner, strip. Don't I have the... Uh... What the heck? What? Hold on, let, let me delete this track. Let me try and add it again. What did I add the pitch shifter to? 
if I didn't add it here. Okay, it's, it's being weird. Cubase, you're being weird, and you're, embarrass and you're embarrassing me in front of all these nice people over here. So why? Okay, in it. Don't worry, Cubase, I still love you. Sine wave, re-trigger, right. And I don't have inserts over here. Inserts, MIDI modifiers, instrument chords. What? What? But I do have inserts over here, so why can't I change the automation of it? Did I break Cubase? Or was was this always the case? Any Cubase guys in the chat, help! Quick! I have an emergency! Um, inserts! There you are! Never mind, it's fine, we're good. We're good, Cubase guys, like, you, if you came, like... Don't, um... Don't, uh, like, thank you for coming, but like, don't worry about it, I got this. Like, why would you think I didn't have this? Come on. Right, and we're gonna pitch shift it down. So it's basically gonna sound something along these lines. I hope it works though properly because sometimes this pitch shifter doesn't actually work properly so yeah I'm good with that. Um, it's fine you only know some of those words so don't worry <laughs> don't worry dot sushi it's fine I barely know any of these words too. Never use Cubase, sorry, logic for you, you've got this anyway. Thank you, Disroy Alfreds, thank you. I take it to the guitar player. Yeah, yeah, sorry, ice. Mm. Got me. Uh, I take it to your guitar player, Disroy Alfreds. What guitar do you play and what style? Um, so this is gonna be like a boom synth. Boom synth. Okay, mm. man, that was cold, my teeth hurt now. Why? Why did I do that to myself? Words confuse me. Me too, horseradish. Me too. Okay, so what we need to do over here is uh, that I need to add in distortion and all sorts of kooky effects. Um, but I, I think I want to bit crush it. Can I bit crush it and also distort it to all heck? And also not destroy your speakers while I'm at it. Hmm, we need more distortion, guys. I think we need more distortion. I think we need to feed noise through it as well. So let me see if I can feed some noise into it. <laughs> My brain goes brrrt. Getting a bit chip tuny, yes. And that's not the idea, actually. We need to get some noise. Noise. Rhodes noise. What does this do? Yep. Yep, you know it. Let's get a compressor and work it way harder than it needs to be. Okay, that's that's way too much. Hold on. 
Hold on. Okay, maybe not eight. That sounds dirty. Very cool. Oh my god, lul! That's better. My cat got scared of the last distortion. <laughs> it's okay, Dot Sushi's kitty. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Just just uh, it's 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 my cube is 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 not a dog. So no need to get scared. No need to get scared. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um. Yeah, so this compressor needs to work, but not that hard. It's gonna be like... But I need like something really, really dirty, like a fuzz in there or something. This is what happens. Like this is how you make like that doom sound, right? Um, also, if I like pitch this up, I think it's too long. I think that's the issue with it. Like I'm like I'm starting to dislike it, and I think it's because it needs to be engine sputters on the brink of death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is dirty. Uh, this is how you get like that doom sound, right? Like you, you take sine waves, you, 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 you put them through a lot of distortion, right? So it's going to be like, wait, hold on. Right. We're going to, we're going to fix the mixing afterwards. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Let's hear it over here. Oh, we didn't do the thing over here. Is it is it because like it's it goes too low? Like bum bum Where should it stop? Hold on. Bum Oh, it's too long, guys. Come on. Why, why didn't you tell me? It's not your fault. I'm sorry. Um, so it should be something like... Right? Something along those lines. And I need to, like, stack a ton of them. Right? It's gonna be like... Right? So this is gonna be, like, one sound. Nick Cage without the CGI. <laughs> the bees, not the bees! Oh. Destroy all frets. You play metal, but study jazz at university. You have loads of guitars, many playing a Vigler fretless. Damn, man! Playing a fretless guitar? How would you even? Uh, mainly play uh, a few different axes for metal, but I have a Demoness custom. Oh, dang, that sounds awesome. What are those beauties? Um, I, over here, I have, um, so, by the way, like, your guitars are amazing, by the way. I don't even know where to begin with those. So, hold on, let me show these off face cam time. Hey-oh! There you go. There you go. This is, like, the Misha Mansour signature, seven string, the Pro Series, like, the cheaper one. And over here is a very, very dusty bass. Ah, this is actually a Radiant Seekers bass. Of all things, okay, which is like another Jackson bass, uh, five string actually. It's tuned to drop A sharp or drop B flat, if you will. And this is basically like this is my main guitar, and this is now my main bass. <laughs> nice rack. <laughs> Why, thank you. Why, thank you. <laughs> It is nice. It is nice. I love having them right over here, just so that I can mess around with them. Bass, don't fall off. 
don't fall off bass. Okay, so these are the guitars that, that I use. I also have like a Jackson 7 string. I, I don't have like very expensive gear or stuff like that or nice guitars. They are nice. I mean, they are nice guitars and I love them. Um, but they're not like the super crazy guitars that you kind of see other people having. Also, these effects might be too loud. Let's see. Let's see. Why am I still going into the red? Is this just like... I have some routing issues, hold on. Yeah, always check. So if you see red over here, it means that something is not going into the master bus, right? And you need to check that, keep that in mind. So you over here, you're going into the lead sense. So bear in mind that you should always check that your routing is going properly. Why do I have an extra group for drums? I will never know. That's closed. Do my drums still work? Hold on. Oh damn, those sound effects are a tad loud now that I think about it. So the boom over here can go like minus six. The impact over here is pretty quiet as it is. What did I do? What did I do? No, no, okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's make this sound work guys. So if I go over here and I render this out, um, edit and render in place, render with current settings, do the thing. We're still getting red, so something, something is not routed properly. I will fix that. I actually know what it is. Do I know what it is? Hold on. My attention span is, uh, is pretty kooky today. I have to say, what the heck, man? So you're going into effects, 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 effects. What the heck is not going into the master bus. What's not going into the master bus? Guys, guys, what's not going into the master bus? I don't know. Um, glitch, glitch, glitch. Leads, guitars, guitars, guitars. So everything is kind of routing into groups, which is good, which is what we want. The A lead is going into the master? Okay, that's not right. But we, we're not using it anyway, so that's fine. The drums are all going into their appropriate buses. Toms, effects, stereo out. Intermission songs. Did I leave the intermission songs on again? Is that actually something that I did? Other stuff. No. Whatever, we'll figure that out later. We shouldn't be clipping by that much, but we are. Luckily, we're in the digital realm, and clipping does not mean that it's it's sudden death for your for your song. Um, okay, so we did that. Now I want to pitch it up. Whoa, whoa! What the heck is happening here? No, just you, Jesus, dude. Okay, so if if we use them both. Yeah, um, we're gonna have like this. So this is so I just moved it like an octave up. We're gonna render this in place as well. Uh, where are you at? Render in place. I can never find you. I need to make a uh, key for you. Okay, we're gonna do the fifth as well. So it's basically like a power chord. Right, and we're gonna basically stack these three sounds on top of each other and then we're going to like widen them, although if you're hearing mono you won't be hearing the effects of that, but that's just gonna be fine. On YouTube, I don't know actually if it, for YouTube it'll come in stereo. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, so we've got these three sounds, they're all going into the lead since I need to group them into their own separate group. And this is going to be like boom synth group. Okay, configuration stereo. U3. I'm going to Q link you and I'm going to send you to the boom synth group. 
Okay. Um, and this is, so this is like our octave. So hold on, it's gonna be like our octa. And of course that doesn't. Our octave, boam, synth, render, and this is gonna be like our fifth, right? And we want the octave to be slightly lower, okay? And now, theoretically, all of these three should be going a bit quieter. Okay, and we need to like cut out the sound as well when the, uh, to not get like that hiss at the end. Okay, and these three need to be widened with the wider plugin. Let's do this. That sounds lame. <laughs> that sounds kind of lame. <laughs> okay, now that I think about it. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, the wider plugin is not actually emphasizing what I want, so I'm. I'm just gonna go like a bit wider with it. I'm not gonna do too much with it. Um, another thing that I could do is that the the octave and the f maybe the fifth could go a tad quieter. Okay, and I need the impact to be much quieter than the main thing. Should I have made that sound longer? Was that something that I should have done? I'm wondering now. Like this 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 bomb synth over here. Should I have made it longer? Or should I have pitched it more? I wonder. I'm now wondering. These are not questions I should have been asking right now. Um, let's time stretch it. A tad. Um, we need to fix the automation as well. Just a second. And we'll check it out. We'll check it out. We'll see if it fixes the thing. Is it, is it because of these? Like, do I just need like the main sound? I think it's because of the wider guys. Like the wider is not, it's not doing what I want it to do, like widen. So stereo enhancer then. I'm gonna try to use the stereo enhancer over here. I'm just gonna like put it, just give it a tad more thing. Okay. Okay, and what if I added like an amp or a distortion box to this as well? So distortion, let's try the saturation knob. Will it work? Will it crash my Cubase? Hey, it didn't. Saturation. Type. Neutral. Okay, like, let's max it out and let's turn these down a notch. So that it like it doesn't murderize us. Oh, minus ten. Okay, that could work actually. Let's try placing these on the grid over here. Let's delete that marker over there and let's see. It's not. Not doing it because of the stereo enhancer. Like I'm not hearing the note. I'm not like hearing the actual note of the thing. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. It's because of these sort of messing around with the... I'm gonna pan these. Okay, and I just need to get like the mix or the balance right. Uh, what film? Three semitones. Okay, Chiff? Okay. Um, astounding in color out of space, mind. Well, Nicolas Cage is amazing. I think, I still think that he is an amazing actor. I don't care what anyone says. I love Nicolas Cage. Fretless feels natural after a while, though you get... You get frequent reminders that you're ice skating up hell. I'm kind of over expensive gear the older I get. The last couple of guitars I got were second-handers that have been through the ringer. And I love them. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't matter. Like, you don't need, like, the most expensive, like, a $3,000 guitar, really. It's nice. But it's not super necessary, I would say. Yes, exactly, Horseradish. I totally agree with you. Don't know about the best living actor, but definitely one of the best. Okay, okay, follow up. Let's let's not let's not do this. Let's let's just. Let's just not, can we not? Hold on. Let me select all the events. I reiterate. Let me select all of the events. Okay. I'm gonna turn off reading and I'm just gonna like leave this be as it is for now. Okay, let's get some reverse snares up in here. Uh, he's a good uh, he, he's a good actor, just most people don't know how to use his kills. I totally agree with that, Horseradish, actually. Rules in loads of films, wild at heart. I'm speaking in absolutes for comic effect here. <laughs> yeah, I got it, I got it. Uh, but I stand by it, he's objectively the best ever. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's freaking phenomenal. Like, I love Nicolas Cage. I just, like, I see him on, on, on screen and I'm happy. It's pretty much what happens. Right, so let's get a reverse snare up in here. There's one you know I love to use. You know I just love that reverse snare. It's like a dubstep reverse snare. I think it's snare seven. Snare six. Snare six. I keep forgetting that it's snare six, not snare seven, and I always think it's snare seven. Why? I do not know. We're going to process, we're going to add process, we're gonna reverse it, and let's get it in there. Okay, and let's turn it down quite substantially because it's pretty loud, so. Not there! There you go, buddy. Oh, yes! Um, you're gonna go in here and I'm gonna like chop this. I'm just I just want like a bit of a Sound before the thing sort of explodes. Yeah, so Here. Okay. And now. And it's gonna come in here as well. Debating whether to call your fictional horror Miskatonic Education Institute from Stillmount 
I mean, if it makes sense, Horseradish, do it. But destroy all friends. I gotta bounce. Good luck with the track. Sounding great so far. You sound great so far. And thank you so much for the follow, destroy all friends. And thank you so much for stopping by. Don't worry. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for checking out what we do here. And I'm super happy that you like it. And I hope you have an awesome Sunday, rest of your Sunday as well. And, uh, or beginning of your Sunday, wherever you are. And uh, stay happy, stay safe, and stay loved. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. So we've got some sound effects going. Let's listen with the sound effects in, and then we're going to continue to work on them for the B part. And bear m hold, I should stop talking over the damn music. Bear in mind that this is basically like we're still kind of rough sketching it right here, right? Eh? Yeah? So we're going to be changing like a lot of these sounds going forward most likely. Or not, we'll see. Yeah, so for this B part, I'm thinking about adding sound effects to add in extra sort of um, accents and sounds, yeah? Because it's pretty straightforward. So all we have to do is use all the other elements outside the, the drums, bass, and guitars to make it more interesting. Let me cut the video for YouTube. Hey, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Be awesome. Continue so.